you know, how perfectly is this game set up? Bearing in mind you both had wins in the Premiership at the weekend. Yeah, I mean, obviously a, lo a lot at stake, and like you said, I mean, both sides um, showed some good qualities over the weekend, and uh, we've played each other, you know, twice already. So, um, not an unknown factor. I think both teams know each other quite well, um, so it makes the contest quite uh, intrigued. And you've both won on each other's patches. So, <laughs> what does that mean that home advantage could mean this weekend? Yeah, again, you know, it shows you the quality of Newcastle. That they, they, they're the one side that came, yeah, and beat us, um, and we went down there and beat them. So I think it just shows you, again, how well balanced both sides are, and um, you know, a little the east. Um, so on the day and on the night, um, the team that's probably the best uh, focused and and let me say the most accurate will get the result. And I'm, I'm sure you never let the players underestimate Newcastle anyway, but their win at Kingsong just kind of makes that certain, doesn't it? You can't underestimate them. No, for sure, you know. Um, yeah, I think we we can't afford any complacency. The, the reality is that, you know, they're going to come down with a lot of confidence. The fact that they not just doing well in the season's premiership, but the fact that they've beaten us here before. And uh, we must make sure, you know, we get out of the blocks and play well and, and don't, uh, you know, disrespect uh, the opposition. Because it's another English side, is this actually more like a Premiership game than a European game? Yeah, definitely. I think it's got the feel of that Premiership. Uh, the fact that, like I said, we've played each other a couple of times and, you know, it's not like you're playing a Welsh or an Italian or a French side or a, a Scotland side where you haven't played and you have to quite, you know, uh, look at a lot of footage to know that what the players, the quality of the players, we know what to expect and we just must be prepared well. How much does it help you that Gloucester have been at this stage several times? All right, you weren't with the team then, but you've got players who've got experience of this of this stage. It will definitely help, uh, you know, those players that is involved, but I do believe, you know, the likes of Ruan and Jake Boledri and, you know, some other players that have an experience, um, the, this will have to tap into to the games where they've experienced pressure and you know Ruan was involved in super rugby finals and, and playoffs etc but um, you know obviously leaders like Billy Burns and Billy 12-3s and John Afoa and those players has you know taste that what this has to take uh, to win uh, this competition and also um, this stage of knockout games. You talk about winning the competition, obviously that's got to be the aim, but presumably you just stay in the moment of this week and this game. Oh, for sure, you know, if you want to win, a, you know, I, I believe a semi-final is the most toughest game of any a competition and purely because if you lose it, you know, you basically got nothing to show. Um, um, only if you win it that you give yourself an opportunity and doesn't matter who you play in the final, even if you the underdog in the final playing a side that's unbeaten, you can then again, you know, uh, give yourself a chance. But to get there, you first have to do the job in the semi-final. And, um, you know, a whole team philosophy was to stay in the moment, stay in the process and make sure you, you, you focus and tick the boxes that are ready for the weekend. And how difficult is selection this weekend? Because obviously for the quarter-final, you went with experience, that paid off. And yet, you know, you've just spoken there about young players like Ruan and Jake, who didn't start in Galway. You know, they'll have to adapt this weekend as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I think this uh, week is going to be extremely tough for selection uh, in certain positions. In others, it's, you know, a bit easier because e either through injury that we you know limited through um, through the competition um, and also like you said you know then sit down and see how we think Newcastle play where the game will go come second half and then you know we have to strategize on our team selection what will we need who will make a difference coming late in the game so there's a lot of factors um, that we have to keep in account and also what what we want to achieve on the field.